What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Woo, back with some more on the block news, man. Before I even get into this crazy-ass story, make so Now hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, man. Not later, but right now. Listen, man. Make sure y'all check it out my website, on block.com for that fly merch I got. Like them shirts I rock and all that fly shit I be having on. You know what I be putting that shit on. You feel me? Order physical copies of my music. Pre-order physical copies of my music. Not later, but do that right now, man. The follow home robbers, man, they back at it once again, man. On Watch your security. Man. They back at it once again, man. Every it seems like then every at least once or twice a week I scroll my timeline. I see it's another story about the follow home robberies. You feel me? On Sunday, a man driving a Lamborghini to his apartment building in downtown Los Angeles was the victim of an attempted follow home robbery. After dining at an upscale restaurant in the Hollywood area, the man gave a Fred a ride to his residence before proceeding to his apartment building at 1120 South Grand Avenue, according to a press release by the Los Angeles Police Department. The victim told police that while he was driving home, he observed a four-door sedan, possibly a Volkswagen, following him. When he parked his vehicle at the rear entrance of his apartment building, very near the doors, video captured an additional vehicle pulled up, possibly a four-door Nissan, according to the release. Both the, the alleged follow vehicle stopped in the alley, not far from where the vic victim parked. When the victim exited the Lamborghini, a suspect from each car got out and approached him. Police said additional suspects waited in the, in the two follow cars. Security footage shows the two suspects approaching the victim. One suspect brandishing a handgun and demanded the victim's watch. A physical altercation ensued between the man and the two suspects, and he was pistol whipped, police said. Both suspects ran back to the... Both suspects ran back to the respective vehicles and fled the scene it's unclear if they made off with any of the victim's belongings okay now look downtown los angeles that's very close to the jury district you feel me also very close to skid row i mean you know not to say these guys came from skid row or anything but it's been a lot of robberies happening near the jury district and the follow home robberies it seemed like it's a more common thing or at least we're hearing about it more due to social media. Listen, I don't give a fuck, man. All that flashy shit, like, you got to choose when to wear that shit. If you look at the video, you feel me? I can't post the video due to, you know, copyright claims I might have. But he just lollygagging. Like, he ain't tripping. Like, he just in a whole nother world. Just Like, he just enjoyed his night. Like, you feel me? Just happy. Like, he got a box of cookies for him to go chill. That's how he was walking with the bag. Like, like he, like, he ain't got nothing to worry about, you feel me? And they crept up on him. That's how it happened. You feel me? As soon as you think you're comfortable and you think you're cool, that's when they pop out on your ass. You feel me? That's why a real street guy, you feel me? Real, a, a nigga who got street smarts, you feel me? Like, we had an upper hand when it come to that because we already paranoid and traumatized what we done seen in the hood. My head already be over my shoulder, you feel me? So I, I really pick and choose wisely my situations that I go to what I bring into the situation. And when I'm coming home, I'm checking my rear views. I'm checking my mirrors. You feel me? I'm looking around. I'm seeing who's in those cars right there. Who, the, who those people hanging out? i never seen them before. You got to do that shit. A lot of motherfuckers will say that's scary. I don't give a fuck what a motherfucker thinks scary is. I'm trying to make it home. You feel me? So if my way to make it home to y'all is scary, you feel me? Well, y'all continue to not be scary and keep on shit like this happening. You feel me? I don't get comfortable. You feel me? My head always on a swivel. I don't trust nothing. You feel me? On everything. And, of course, like I said, these fly-ass, flashy cars, Lamborghinis and all this shit, this shit just bring attention. Like I said, nine times out of ten, the motherfucker driving a Lamborghini got something nice, something proper on their wrist. I'm just saying. You feel me? And... At least that's what they thought of this man, but they said they don't know if it's clear if they got that. But they pistol whipped him, no. Like, pistol whipped him. Like, that was vicious. Like, they had that on camera. That was crucial. You feel me? That was, man, you feel me? I don't even want to feel for the guy. You feel me? Because I don't want to imagine that shit, you know? I just want to continue to move wisely and, you know, be safe. You feel me? And keep uh, keeping y'all informed and, and, and letting y'all know how to be safe and things like that. It don't matter where you at. This shit is not in the movies, you feel me? And the cool thing about it is, motherfuckers get it in the buildings like that, living condos and shit for safety, you feel me? 
because they think it's safer or whatever. You feel me? Did something like that happen right in front of the door? No, they don't give. It was a motherfucker standing right there. They didn't give a fuck. Like they ain't do like they had no mask on. Them niggas was thirsty, and that's how it be. You feel me? The things you think won't happen, the thirstiest motherfuckers will do. I'm gonna repeat that. The things you think that can't happen to you. The thirstiest motherfuckers will do to you, you feel me? So it don't matter who you are. This could be man, woman, child, female, male, whoever. Doctors, police officers. If you look like you got it and a motherfucker thirsty enough, don't. They trying to get it any way they can, you feel me? If they got to blow the pistol, they're going to blow it. If they got a pistol whip you, they're going to pistol whip you. You feel me? That's why it's up to us to be safe out here in these streets. Or as other people say, stay dangerous. You see, my way of staying dangerous is to stay militant, stay smart. You feel me? Stay moving wisely, you feel me? Because I'm dangerous mentally, you feel me? I'm dangerous mentally. You feel me? You could be dangerous physically too, you feel me? But... I'm not on YouTube to be dangerous physically. Like, I can't even do nothing to y'all on YouTube, you feel me? So, I'm dangerous mentally, you know what I'm saying? And I stay safe, too, you feel me? Head on the swivel, and I stay dangerous, you feel me? Keep my mind sharp. Keep 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 my head on the swivel. Watch out for that. What they on? You feel me? Try to read body language, you feel me? Trying to get smarter with everything I do. But listen, man, let me know what y'all think in the comments, man, on everything. My condolences to the guy that got pistol whipped, you feel me? Hopefully... They ain't getting nothing out of him, out of him. You feel me? Cause it looked like they wasn't get. He wasn't giving that shit up easy. Like he he had to struggle for a minute. Like he took that. Like I I, I respect it though. You feel me? Cause you feel me, nigga. That nigga don't want. Listen, you ain't getting this shit easy. You feel me? I understand it completely. But man, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, man. Not later, but right now. My name is Young Wu. This is on the block news.